assume we really know that first stage. We don't need to observe it. We're going to do a minimum order observer. Right? X1 is the observed state. We have about two other states to uh, estimate with our observer. So we need how many holes for our observer? Two. Right? Well, we'll put the observer holes. Gains, short gains, and the others. Control C are 16, 17, 10. The observer poles are 8, 15. Right out of backwards. Basically, say, you know, what I might find is fine, but you deserve it. Okay. Um, let's look at how we actually put this together. That's what I got on my computer today.
do is get these four uh, <coughs> matrices. That's a regular. It's a minimal order regular. Which I'll show that in a second. So for this system, I have A, B, and C. A, A, A <coughs> is what? That is it's going to partition the A matrix. That's the A matrix part of the known or our state that's not being observed. Not presented to the report. So of course that. also the K matrix. KA is the gain of our controller gains for the directly observed state, which in this case is 16. Case B are the other parts. Those are the controller gains for the parts that we need to make the observer. And then KE is the gains for the observed points. Everybody makes see where all these things come from? Yeah? Is that a plus KE on the bottom of that top board? On D, D tilde, the bottom equation? Plus That's D. That's a D tilde. Yeah. Is it plus KE? So hold on. Um, minus KA plus KB times, yes, times KE. Times KE? Yeah, that's okay. 